when I think of all of this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And you may have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to fully understand. Then you will be made complete with all fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. Hi guys. I wanted to come do a really quick video. I'm using a totally different camera. I'm not using my regular just walk around film in a car camera because me and Harold switched cars this morning and well he took my car this morning and i found out when i woke up so i don't have the camera that's in the car and the equipment and i was gonna film while i was running around doing my errands but it didn't need to go like that today obviously because it didn't go like that so i really just i wanted to come talk to you guys hold up i'm sorry i wanted to come talk to you guys about something that god put on my heart really heavy today and just be transparent with y'all i feel like that's the um i think that's the most refreshing thing about my channel is how transparent i can be with you guys and um the lessons i can give you from the lessons i learn and how we can interact in the comments and learn from each other i really enjoy that about my channel so i just want to talk to you guys about that desperation keeping that desperation for god and you guys know it's serious like i just came on here like no makeup threw some lip gloss on because i really wanted to talk to y'all and when i say keeping that de desperation for god i mean y'all ever just go through something and y'all have that um that feeling of desperation for god like you you pray to god night and day you talk to god all day you you ask for him to take your stress and your worry away and you just trust in god for getting you out of whatever you're going through in that season and you're so desperate for God and you spend so much time with God and, and I call that the holy desperation when you just long 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 for God and I'm not talking about those times where you're like oh God bless me with this house bless me with this car rain down some money I'm not talking about those times I'm talking about those times when you truly truly seek God when you need him to fill a void and you're just going through something you're going through some pain and hurt and you just seek after the Lord you thirst for him and I find that I didn't even I didn't notice it myself until today when God showed it to me. Today, me and Harold had planned to go biking. It was a total miscommunication. And yesterday, he skipped the gym to spend some time with me. So I told him I really wanted to go walk around the trail and go walking or go biking because he bought me a bike a while back and I never used it. And I'm like, oh, I'll get to use it. And he was like, okay, we'll go tomorrow if this, 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 this doesn't happen. So in my mind, all I heard was, okay, we'll go tomorrow. So after he got off work, his regular time, I noticed time was going by, time was going by, and he usually is here by a certain time. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Just go about my little day, just waiting for him to like pop up home. And so then I'm like, okay, well, let me just text him because he's tagging me on these funny dog videos on Facebook. So obviously he's not at work. And I'm like, hey, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I'm on my way by, um, granny and papa's house to go watch the game i was just about to text you to let you know my plans and immediately like pregnancy hormones i'm like upset not upset to the point where i'm just ready to but i'm like listen we had plans you know i was disappointed i'm like because i waited around for you to get off i could have just went and did whatever with my day and he's like no remember i told you if this this and this happened but that's whatever and so i was immediately disappointed and i'm like oh man i really want to do that today and god just spoke to my heart he's like that's how i feel about you like you know how disappointed you feel when you're like oh you know i'm gonna spend time with my husband i love spending time with my husband i love learning new things about him and having conversations with him and then it might not happen or it gets pushed back for some reason i'm sorry y'all i'm all clogged up 
God is like, that's how I feel about you. That's how I long to spend time with you. And lately, our time has just been like lackadaisy. And I'm like, Lord, like, are you serious? I spent time with you yesterday when I did da 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 da, or the day before. And God is like, no, you don't have that same hunger. You don't have that same thirst that you used to have. You don't have that anymore. And I just, I just long to just get you alone. And I long to just spend some time with you like we used to. Remember when you just used to cry out to me, even when things were going good used to cry out to me just just because you wanted to feel my presence and I'm like wow Lord and I'm just thinking back to when I was reading what was I reading um I committed to reading Romans chapter 7 the other day and in my head when I was reading it I'm like God like I, I don't really feel the same like why don't I feel like the Holy Spirit right now like I feel I'm doing everything I normally do but I just I don't I don't feel it but you know, I always say, you know, no matter how you're feeling, just continue on because seeking God is not about how we feel. It's about seeking God because that's what we're supposed to do as Christians. And I didn't realize it. I'm like, man, did I really invite the Holy Spirit into that or was I doing that just out of routine? And I'm like, we all need to get to a point where we really sit down and be honest with ourselves. And we're like... As we're going day by day, are we seeking God because we're supposed to be seeking God? Because somebody on Instagram is like, make sure you're spending quiet time with every God every day. Or is it because we really thirst and we're desperate for God and we're like, God, I woke up breathing and I know that was only just because of you, God. I have hot water. I have a place to live. I have a car. I have food. And that's only because of you, God. God, I'm so desperate for you. Even though I have all of these things, I know they're but a vapor and they'll fade away. I'm just so desperate for you. I want to feel your presence you're just hungry and desperate for him every single day because without him none of this is possible without him none of this matters do we realize that like I don't ever want to get to a place where I'm like oh you know I'm married I'm happy in my marriage I have a baby on the way I'm so excited that I forget the author and the creator of my life and I'm just going about oh I'm gonna give you an hour here and there oh i'm gonna do this here and there just to check off my christian list again i'm sorry y'all i'm clogged up just to check off my christian list to say oh i did that i spent time with you god i spent time with you on monday today's tuesday i'm gonna keep my tuesday all to myself you know just going about in a routine and i'm like sitting over there all of this went down on the couch and I just begin to cry and I'm like God give me back that holy desperation I used to have for you give me back that desperation I had when I had all of those voids I needed you to feel when I was so hurt so broken and you you held my hand and you took me through that season and you walked with me and you showed me every single thing I needed to work on like give me that back I don't ever 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 want to get to a point where I'm like oh my life is so great and I feel like I don't need God because even when life is going good, even when life is going horrible, I want you, I want you as bad as I do when everything's falling apart. I want you just as bad when nobody else is there for me. I want you just as bad when it's just me and you and nobody else understands. Like I want you that bad when things are going great. Give me that holy desperation. Show me God, show me. And God just begins to show me different things and show me new ways I can spend time with him. Like you can spend time with me during this time. You can spend time with me during this time. Well, how about this? Let's get back to that relationship that we used to have. Let's get back to, to spending time with each other and, and learning and that's the thing we are called to have a relationship with God we aren't just Christians and suddenly oh you know I'm a Christian so my relationship with God is automatic no just how you seek out your friends just how you seek out your boyfriend your husband your spouse we're supposed to seek God that way don't you know like the word tells us we we can't even under explain the height we can't understand the height and the depth of his love so think about this if god if jesus is such a person such a being that we can't understand the height and depth of his love that means there are new things to learn about him every day you can't compare that to a human yes i'll be learning my husband forever for the rest of my life or however much time we have down here on this earth yes i might be learning him but just imagine god how much more like there are new things to learn about him every single day and and i just want to be to a place where i'm waking up and i'm like holy spirit show me something new about you and if you don't want to share anything new with me today just get me excited about the things i already know let me walk in the spirit like let me be so 
engulfed and wrapped up in you that that is my life that that that's all I care about because money things material things those things don't matter and that's what the whole point of this video guys is to really sit down and and self-assess like let's assess ourselves like are do you are you really in love with God are you really in love with God or are you in love with your church are you in love with the word that you get from your church are you in love with the rush that you might get at church are you in love with your youth group are you in love with are you really in love with Jesus do can you really say I am in love with him I am engulfed in him I am wrapped up in his love I love him can you say that and it's okay it's okay if you can sit back and say you know what I don't really know Jesus I'm not really in love with Jesus that's okay for you to be able to be that real because God already knows and I tell people that all the time especially when I get emails or comments or if I'm talking to my friends like don't be afraid to be real with God because he already knows he already knows what's in our heart and you can say you know what God I might not know you as well as I need to know you I might not be in love with you but teach me show me how to get there grow me God I want to love you I want to love you more than these material things I want to love you more than my husband I want to love you more than my kids because you are my creator you are my number one you are the whole reason that I'm down here to tell people about you implant in me that love for you and through that i'll be able to love everybody else through that i'll be able to accomplish what you put me down here on this earth for because i have that love for you and i had to t i had to tell myself like i can't fall out of love with jesus that's impossible and i and i'm just like as i was sitting over there just just crying and i'm like thank you lord thank you for showing me this thank you for not letting me continue in this thank you like you just lit a fire like I'm so excited to to just seek you and to seek you wholeheartedly not as be, not because it's something I want to check off my checklist because even if I'm just checking it off my checklist you know where my heart is and you know my heart is not right and I'm like just so thankful that um he showed that to me and I want you guys to really sit down after this video and pray and ask God grow me in love grow me in being in love with you like i want to know the height the fullness i want to know you i want to know you more and one of my favorite songs says that i want to know you god i want to seek your face i want to know your heart i want to walk with you all the days of my life and that is my prayer for myself and that is my prayer for you guys as well so my camera's blanking it might be going out and that's okay because i need to get ready for my prayer group and i have a bunch of other videos to upload but again because my camera's in the car and my husband's not here this is probably the only video i'm gonna upload tonight but come on don't go out on me do i have time do i have time i don't but I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for sticking with me. And I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. And I will see you on the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh. wait. Oh, I talked about that on the last video. Never mind. Bye.